Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello, I'm Hannah Critchlow and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. With 7 billion of us currently living on Earth, and that number set to rise to 9 billion by 2050, should we all be making a move to relocate our homes to a terraformed Mars? Steve Davis has been pondering this very question. He wrote in with this. I frequently wonder where we are heading as a species and see that the one big issue we continue to ignore is a sustainable human population. I have heard the Earth can support about 2 to 3 billion people comfortably and sustainably. Is that true? So, can us humans happily fit on this lovely green and blue planet? First up, over to Stuart Baston, Research Fellow in Demography and Social Policy at Oxford University. Humans, in themselves, take up relatively little space. Indeed, if every human being on Earth stood side by side, we would easily all fit into an area the size of Berkshire. So, if we could all fit into a space that's slightly larger than New York City, what's the problem? Humans can and do use a tremendous amount of resources. The answer to the question, therefore, is determined by three elements which loop back and affect each other. Namely, one, how many people will there likely be in the world? Two, how much will each person consume in terms of food, water, energy, etc.? And three, what is the likely future of the resources which we use? Indeed, the critical question is just how we want humans, on average, to live. And Professor Martin Rees from Cambridge University agrees. I think it's very hard to give a proper answer to that question because it depends on the lifestyle of people. Let me take two extremes. If everyone were to live like present-day Americans, then the world couldn't support sustainably more than 2 billion people. We're already using more resources than we can sustainably. On the other hand, to take another perhaps rather silly extreme, supposing everyone was a vegetarian and ate nothing but rice, lived in little tiny homes and didn't travel at all but just lived in virtual reality, then maybe even 20 billion could be accommodated. So the reality lies somewhere in between. I personally think that it should be possible for 9 billion people by 2050 to live comfortably, provided that agriculture becomes more efficient. We also need to ensure that food is not wasted and is transported better, so this needs better engineering. And we also need to make better use of water resources, because water is one of the constraints on agriculture. But I think we have the technology, and certainly will by 2050, <clears throat> to ensure that everyone uh, can live, even if there are 9 billion of us. But I'm more anxious about whether the political will is there to ensure this actually happens. So if we develop our technology and make agriculture, food transport and water use more efficient, we should be able to support 9 billion living sustainably on Earth. But the individual and political will has to be there to enable that to happen. Thanks, Steve, for getting in touch with that question and Stuart and Martin for your answers. Now we make a move to uncover our past with this. Hello, Naked Scientists. My name is Raf. I'm an archaeologist and I live in Belgium. And I was just wondering what the chances were, percentage-wise, of me being a relative to someone living in this area in Belgium about 2000 or 1000 BC. Thank you. So how closely is Raf related to his Bronze Age Belgium-based ancestors? How strikingly similar is your DNA? to a descendant from your local area. What do you think? Let us know by posting on our Naked Scientists Facebook page. You can tweet at Naked Scientists. You can email studio at thenakedscientists.com or you can join in the debate on our forum, which is at nakedscientists.com slash forum. The Naked Scientists Question of the Week, brought to you in association with the How to Wisman Foundation, supporting science and education from alpha to omega.